All right, deep in the heart of Georgia lives the Georgia Golf Center. And I'm going to get familiar with one of my new local ranges for a nice little practice day. Here we go. Beautiful facility here at the Georgia Golf Center. They have grass and mats. Today we're on the mats and my bucket of balls cost me $13. A little on the steep end if you ask me, but a beautiful facility. They have covered and non-covered stalls for you to hit in. And I wanted to torture myself in the 90 plus degree weather, 100% humidity and uh, go uncovered to try to get used to this new environment I find myself in. So just warmed up with a few little shots. And now I'm going to get started with my drills for the day. So after I'm warmed up with just wedges and stuff, I'm going at a 162 yard flag. I have an eight iron and I just wanna find out what is happening on the day. So just getting things warmed up, building up to a full swing. So. Just little, little shots first, then getting into the eight iron here. And what I'm trying to find out is, are my balls fading today? Are they drawing with my stock shot? And I'm gonna base my practice day off what's happening here with my eight iron. And what I found, especially with recent play, is I want to get back to my shots when I want to know what's going to happen. So the first thing I'm going to do here is what I call a big fade drill. And I have a six iron and I'm just working on huge fades after I'm warmed up. And I want to use this drill as a way to start feeling what it's like to hit a big cut shot. And this helps open up my body, learning um, what my fade swing is feeling like. So I'm really trying to crank through to the left. And this is the first thing I want to do is when I'm at the range is really get my body working properly. So this big fade drill is step one. Then after that, I go to, you guessed it, big draw drill. Now, if you struggle with hitting draws, this is going to be great because you're going to learn how to turn your back to the target, which is key when you want to hit any type of draw. And it's also going to help you really rotate your body much more than ever. This is a critical drill for probably 90% of golfers out there and something you should do. Just don't go hit balls straight every time. Really try to hook the ball as hard as you can. This is a good one. And I'm really just getting a good feel for what a hook feels like. Then I go with the same club, six iron, a stock shot drill. And this is now very similar to the eight irons I hit earlier. I wanna find out what my stock shot is doing. And after you do the big fade and the big draw drill, now you can start feeling the differences between your swings. And you can really feel the subtleties of like, oh, okay, that was more of the fade feel. This was more of the draw feel. Then I go straight to my driver drill because I want to hit drivers while I'm fresh. I don't want to do it at the end. I want to do it kind of more toward the beginning. And my driver drill is going to be me hitting drives at different targets every single time. I don't want to do two shots at the same target. And as difficult as this is and as kind of, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of time to go reset your alignment stick every time, but it's super critical because on the golf course, every hole you hit driver is gonna be aiming at a different target. And you can see here, I hooked it when I aimed way right. And you should know that. I felt very uncomfortable aiming to the right. And the more left I went, the more comfortable I felt. But that's gonna affect you on the golf course when you have a hole that makes you feel like you're aiming out to the right. So you've gotta get familiar with targets at different spots in the range. So I do this drill for quite a while and hit a lot of drives just going from the right to the center to the left. And I keep doing this and this is the bulk of my practice. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the rounds I have played out here, I've been very uncomfortable on the tee box. So I wanted to focus on that a big deal. Next up, I am going to what I call the scoring drill. 
Now, you wanna do this after your driver when you're a little more fatigued. And so it's not a full on out driver swing. It's, I'm hitting a pitching wedge here at a target 121 yards away, which is a trash can barrel that I'm trying to land my shots in. And so I'm really hitting at a small target and trying to just get perfect swings as I get more fatigued and tired in this you know, heat and humidity. The more you work on this shot, the more birdies and pars you're gonna make because you're gonna learn where you can lay up. You're gonna have this consistent swing that's gonna get you pretty close or hopefully pretty close to your target every time. And this is something you should spend a lot of time on when you're at the range and really try to dial in to a tiny target out there so that you can get comfortable and confident when you are on the golf course firing at flag sticks. A lot of times when you have the wedge in your hand, you're firing to a smaller target. You're looking small. It's not a five wood from 200 yards that you're just trying to get on the green. This is something you are really trying to get close and spend a lot of time hit about a third of your balls here because this is going to really benefit you on the course then you go to this cool down drill a lot of people don't do this they just fire drivers at the end and they walk off and go home you really want to do a cool down drill you do it in every other sport you play so i'm hitting seven iron punch shots similar to my driver drill i'm going at a different target every single time not full swings. I'm just trying to get controlled distances. You're gonna use this shot a lot on the golf course anyways when you're punching out of trouble and or you're just trying to hit something underneath a wind. And so you really want to practice this. Nobody practices this and you should spend a good amount of time just hitting these little punch seven irons all around at different targets and it will really benefit your game and it's a great way to kind of cool down after or toward the end of your practice session take a break I needed a few of those then I just hit a five wood favorite shot drill here I'm just hitting fun shots just trying to hit my last four or five six balls uh, at different targets quick shots fade shots low shots high shots some fun just to work on as you know you're about to leave and maybe try to fire one at the golf cart picker if you can and of course you're gonna try that's always fun. So I hope you like this video. A little practice range day session for you. Good luck out there. I love you guys. If you're in the neighborhood at the George Golf Center, stop on by. It's a cool spot. Maybe we'll run into each other there. So I will see you in the next video.